What do I spend the most money on? Cars, yeah. That gotta be it. It's just cars. Like, I buy a car damn near every two weeks, three weeks. And I just give it to my friend. Like, I be tripping now. Like, cause it's, it's so, they're so cheap. It's not like I'm buying a Lamborghini and just, you know, passing it to my friend. I could just go get a, a Nissan from around the corner from th for $2,000. They don't even have to have an engine or something. I can get a car for 500 and fix it up for 2000 It'll be just, it'll be a perfect car. My inspiration for two-seater, like the setting and everything, I really wanted to bring out the drift cars. Like I've really been fucking with JDM cars, drift cars, a lot of right-hand drive stuff. So I really want to bring that out and show people that side of me for this song. And uh, g Easy and them and Offset already was in tune with it too. So I was just like, fuck it, it's really time to take it over. And it's, I, I'm, I don't know, it's, I, I feel like everybody trying to get into the Japanese cars now too. Like I done seen Travis Scott doing it. I seen, shit, Lil Uzi been always in the Japanese shit, but I see people like that doing this. So it's, it's crazy now. At first, it wasn't like that. Amir, I brought him on tour with me on the Endless Summer Tour with Uzi. I messed with his whole brand, like his whole, you know, like like the whole gang. Like, and then, you know, I love Corday and, you know, the whole thing they had, they had building. Yeah, I mean, like, he's, he's just been the homie. And um, that song was a no-brainer. Two feet around with your bitch. Butterfly goes on the bins. Running through bins on rich. Everything President Tiss. Do I have a two-seater? I got a lot of two-seaters. Damn near all my cars are two-seaters. I used to do all the foreign cars, like the Lamborghinis and shit, and the Bentley trucks and all that. But I, I be really into the two-doors, like the little Mazdas and Nissans and all that. I, like, I still, I don't know. That's just, like, what I really like. Like, I love it. And so, it's cheap as hell. Why not get it? It's, it's fucking $3,000 for one of them cars. $2,000. Like, I could buy my whole family a 350Z. I'm on Ocean. With a bad hoe. I'm on ocean in a drop top with a bad hoe. Who don't want to be seen? That's the mission, nigga. Why you getting money? You in a drop top and you got a bad bitch and everybody looking. It's like, nigga, I did that. I did that. Top down. She got flewed out. Have I ever flew a girl out? I never flew a girl out. Uh, except my mom. Swear to God. I ain't never flew like bought a flight for another girl. Nah. That's kind of like, that's another category. That's like Jay or somebody. On the back seat with his stint dope, smoking endo, with my jewels out. My favorite piece of jewelry that I own is my Valley World chain. It's cause it's a Valley World chain. It represents my homeboy that passed away. It just, it mean everything to me. My YBN chain, it mean the whole world to me. My rap -a -lot chain, it mean the world to me. But that one is, is different. Cause I feel like the homie put that, I even got the chain for free. It's like a $30,000 chain. I got it for free. So. I feel like that was just put in my hands. Like, my brother was giving me this. Like, nigga, here, you did this. Here, like, you feel me? This your reward. Like, I wish I could give it to you in person, but do that. 120, I blew right by you. Yeah, I like to drive fast. When you have a fast car, you know, I mean, especially nowadays, it's quarantine. <clears throat> Nobody's on the road. You know, you get on a, you know, you get on a good open road, you just bust that open. That was something I always wanted was like a, you know, a fast car. You know, I idolized this Ferrari, and then I get it, and then I got it, and then I drove it fast. And I was doing like 135. That was one of the first times in the Ferrari, and and I could just feel the wheel, just like you know, if I just, just you know, like I'm not really like a driver like that because I, I didn't have a car until I was like signed, and you know, I, was, I never had a car growing up. So you know, by the time I got cars, it was you know, it was kind of out of my league. So you know. You had, to, you, had to, you, had to, you had to grow quick. I just told a bad bitch slide through. Two seater hop in, she could ride to whip the Ferrari through the Chick fil A drive through. The day I wrote that verse, I had uh, drove my Ferrari through the Chick fil A drive through um, on the way to the studio. And I was just like, you know, this is a, this is an ironic bar. You know, I'm, I'm just in this, you know, Ferrari, just, you know, looking obnoxious, driving through the Chick fil A drive through, probably like an asshole, um, getting spicy chicken, you know. But, uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is, man. You got to eat. Uh, you know, no shame in my game. High as an Einstein IQ. She don't get my name as a tattoo. No square shit, that's a taboo. Let's do no boy at Malibu. There's one girl that I got to shout out. Like, I met her. She was, uh, like, in a meet and greet, like, before a show. And um, she had a whole portrait of me, like, right here, like, my face. And I was just like, damn, like, you know, that's that's forever. Like, that's love. Like, I appreciate you so much for that. They remind you of just how, how big the love can be. 
you know, and how impactful the music can be on people. Like the fact that somebody will put something on their, their body forever, you know, pertaining to your music is, that's big love. Do I have any girl's names tattooed on me? Uh, nah, uh, I might get Rihanna's name just, just to, you know, or, or maybe a picture of Rihanna just to look at her. Like, uh, look at Rihanna. Maybe, maybe I'll do that, that's it. <laughs> Why be in, she skiing, he tap out, put G in, little bad bitch, Korean, hop out my whip, European, on Broadway, like all day, no, I fuck with Namir yet a long way. She just left my hotel, did a clean walk of shame down the hallway. Money with the squad, give money with the squad, give money with the squad. Put that on God, man, I stay on my job as the young heart throb. Hey, money with the squad, give money with the squad, give money with the squad. Put that on God, man, I stay on my job as the young heart throb. Yeah, when I was a baby and my mom was pushing me in a stroller, I decided I was going to be a heart throb, man. These ladies kept stopping me and they said, Wow, he has some pretty eyelashes. He's gonna be a pretty boy. He's gonna be a heartthrob. And then at that point, when I was a baby getting pushed to my stroller, I just knew that I was gonna grow up to be a heartthrob. I'll put that on God if the young heartthrob. Yeah, like, yee! Ryan with a thick bitch. Rich on big shit. Top down coupe with a stick shift. She don't gotta be the thickest. She don't gotta. She could, she could be a Febreze bottle if I care. Like, you feel me? She could be anything. She just gotta. She gotta mean something. She just can't be no normal girl like she yell. Like it's just woo. I'm I'm into something else now. I'm a grown ass man. A nigga trying to yell. Like I'm looking for her, but I'm not looking for her because I already found love. Young man already did his thing, man. Yeah, and all that. Yeah, cuz. Oh you bitch whistless. Why me and big fish strip ass nigga? You a fish dick. Smoke a pre-roll with a bad hoe, drop that zero, fuck with a hero. I'm on South Beach on a jet ski. Bitch trying to find me like Nemo, back rows, all hundreds. Have I ever had anybody find me like Nemo? Oh yeah, I remember this one time I was in, I had this um apartment in Studio City. And like, I was going to check my, no, I was going to walk my dog. Like, you know how you just take your dog outside? Cause you stay in the apartment, you can't even let it be in the house. Taking my dog out, this car is rushing. Like right past me, stop right in front of me. Yo, why be in the mirror? Let me get a picture. I said, what the fuck? Like, how do you know this is my house? Like, bruh, like they was waiting across the street. Like I used to stay like smack dead across the street from Universal Studios, like the Winston Door Apartments. So, uh, I don't know. I, I think they was just camping over there and was just watching, but it was crazy. Yeah, that's your bitch. I want him. Yeah, the bitch out of pocket, I shoot like a rocket. Hunt around drum the stick I'm popping. What would somebody have to do to get me out of pocket? Uh... Nothing. Yeah, I don't really take nothing serious unless it's in person, like physical, like physical, or you know, you right face to face and you saying some bullshit. But other than that, I'm gonna laugh at it. And if I say something like I respond to it, I'm not serious. It's a joke. Just how you was joking. You know what I'm saying? Just like how people be joking, I be joking right back with their ass. Nigga, fuck your dead granny. Nigga, I'm gonna laugh at. Nigga, what you mean? They they gonna say, nigga, fuck you. I hope you die. I hope you go to jail. Nigga, fuck your dead granny. I ain't mean it. I didn't mean it, but nigga, shit, you playing with me. Have I ever knowingly taken someone's girl from them? Yeah, before, but now? I kind of said, fuck that shit, though. That's bad karma. Like, I wouldn't want nobody to try to take my bitch. Like, I used to do that type of shit when I was 16, 15, little tiny shit, but I don't know. People be in real life relationships, but you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even try to fuck it up. If you happy, you happy.